and welcome to Letters and Numbers, where our contestants test their intellect against the clock, and we invite you to do just the same. I'm Richard Moorcroft, and let's say hello to the rest of the team, and firstly, the woman who convincingly crunches numbers, mathematician Lily Serna. Hi, Richard. Now, Lily, I know you have a natural talent for maths, but where do you think that came from? I would say it runs in my blood. Um, my great-grandfather was an engineer. My grandfather, father, brother, cousins all work with maths. And um, I think that I've, I've always felt naturally inclined to go into mathematics. So it's in the genes. Definitely. Well, welcome tonight, Lily. Our dictionary detective, David Astle, will also be adjudicating on the words tonight. Welcome, David. Thanks, Richard. Good to be here. And also, of course, to play letters and numbers tonight we have our two contestants first of all the man who has been virtually glued to the chair over the last three nights teacher chris sholton smith our carryover champion welcome chris hi richard great to see you back again and uh, you were telling us last night actually that you you have a novel in you that you're quite determined to get out we got the front cover and we got the first 200 words but uh, any more than that overnight i i thought about it a lot <laughs> but we're still at the 200 word stage absolutely well we won't have quite 200 words today but uh, we look forward to your uh, competition tonight so welcome and playing against chris is chaitanya rao an electrical engineer who spent five years studying his phd in the u.s and he says if he happens to write a book his autobiography would be titled finally in the real world a young man's delayed journey now chaitanya Tanya, welcome, but I am going to have to ask you about that title. It's a long title, but uh, why did you choose that one? Uh, it's just to reflect the fact that I spent a long time as a student and very eager to be out finally in the real world, I feel. And what were you studying? I was studying, uh, first of all, mathematics and then electrical engineering and then continued electrical engineering into my postgraduate studies. Well, good luck tonight. Good luck to both of you. Please welcome our two contestants, Chris Sholton smith and Chaitanya Rao. <laughs> And it's the letters game to start us off. Contestants have just 30 seconds to create the longest word that they can from the selected letters. And Chris, please choose first. Thanks, Richard. Hi, Lily. Could I start with a consonant, thanks? You can. Thanks, Chris. Starting with an S. And another consonant, thanks. D. And a vowel, please. E. And another consonant, thanks. R. And uh, another vowel, thanks. O. And another vowel, thanks. I. Another consonant, thanks, Lily. Y. And a vowel, please. Another E. And we'll finish with a consonant, thank you. And lastly, M. Thanks, Lily. 30 seconds from now. Chris? Then for any... I had uh, six. A very slightly hesitant six there, yeah. Titania. I had five. What was your five? Dries, D-R-I-E-S. And Chris, your six? Uh, I had dryers, but I've realised it's not there, so... Oh, dear. <laughs> OK. Well, we'll have to uh, give that one a miss, but uh, dryers, David, no problem there? No troubles there, uh, Chaitanya, with dries for five and a possible seven, just starting with a Western theme, is moseyed, M-O-S-E-Y-E-D. Thank you, David. And uh, five points to start for Chaitanya. Straight on to our second letter game now. And uh, Chaitanya, your choice this time. Thanks, Richard. Hi, Lily. Hi, Chaitanya. Welcome to the show. Thank you. I'd like to start with a consonant, please. Thank you. Starting with an N. Followed by a vowel. A. Uh, back to a consonant, please. G. Uh, then a vowel. E. A consonant, please. S. Another consonant, thanks. L. Uh, back to a vowel. O. Then a consonant, please. V. And I'll end with another consonant, thank you. And finally, R. Let's start the clock.
How did you go, Chaitanya? Five again for me. And for you, Chris? I had a six. What was your five? Uh, mine was Lover, L-O-V-E-R. Chris, your six? Um, angels. So, Lover and Angel, very positive words from here. Very positive and well played. In fact, uh, Angels was in the first six letters, quite remarkably, and so was Nag, keeping with the cowboy theme. Uh, Grovels is a possible seven, G-R-O-V-E-L-S. So, six points to Chris, bringing the score total, Chaitanya on five, Chris just one point ahead. Our first numbers game tonight now, and contestants have just 30 seconds to get as close to the target number as possible. They will use a combination of low and high numbers. The lows are the numbers 1 to 10, the highs are 25, 50, 75 and 100. And of course, division, multiplication, addition and subtraction can be used as required. So Chris, would you like to make the first number selection please? Thanks Richard. Lily, could I have two large numbers and four small, please? Two large and four small. Thank you, Chris. Starting with a small four, another four, eight, ten, and the two large, 75 and 25, and the target number, 547. Thank you, Lily. We'll start the clock. Get Chris? 549. Just two off the mark, Chaitanya? 546. Very close. Please tell us how you did it. Okay, I'll start with 10 plus 8 plus 4. 10 plus the 8 plus the 4. Okay, that gives 22. It's 22. Multiplied by 25. By the 25. It gives me 550. Gives you 550. Subtract 4. And take away the 4 gives you 546. So, certainly very good work from Chaitanya, getting uh, just one away from the target, but uh, a tough one, Lily. It was a tough one, and I think I'll need the break to think about it. All right. Well, our scores at the moment, uh, Chris is on six points, Chaitanya is on 12. And as we go to the break, of course, we've got a word mix for you, which is cash tree. The clue this time, sizing up land. We'll be back very shortly.